now we get to the most important part. Another 20%. So this takes us 50 on quality, 20 on needle, 20 more has to do with the tension. And by far, this will do more for your success than anything else I can teach you. So for the next four or five minutes, this is going to be good. Imagine you go home after a fun two hours at Dixie Quilt Guild. <laughs> and while you were here, I'm going to talk just to the women for a minute. Your husband went shopping. He went to Best Buy or he went to Costco and hey, it's the New Year's sales are on and he bought a 60 inch widescreen plasma television. And he carried it home and he put it up and realized there's not enough room in the TV viewing area. So he parked it halfway into your sewing area. <laughs> you walk home and open the door and right there halfway parked into your sewing area is a brand new television and you're not very happy with him. What in the world is that doing here? And he says, honey, thank you for going to Quilt Guild. This is what I've always wanted. Look at the picture on this. Do you know it's bowl season? Super Bowl's coming up soon. I am in heaven because this TV is so high tech. Surround sound, 24-7 pre-programmed sports. One channel. I don't even need the remote control. I turn this TV on, it is sports, 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 and it only cost me $3,000. Thank you for being a quilter. Because you spend much more than that on your numerous machines and your fabric and all your other hobbies. What can you say? You're thinking, wait a minute, he spent $3,000 for one channel, is that crazy? A little bit. No more Oprah. No CSI, no Dr. Phil, none of your other favorite TV shows. It doesn't get those programs, honey. This is a sports TV. If you sew on your machine, how many of your machines have automatic tension settings? How many were told at the stores when you bought them, it's a wonderful feature? Okay, it is. How many were told, because it's automatic, don't touch the tensions? That's who we're going to fix right now. Because if you don't change the, we're talking top tension. If you don't adjust the tension settings on your machine, you are sewing on one channel and it is just as crazy as never changing, changing channels on your television. If you're okay watching sports 24-7 without any other channels, good for you. If you're okay sewing always with one type of thread, straight vanilla because that's what my machine likes, good for you. But there are other channels you can get and this is just how it works. This is how your tension system works. Your machine has tension discs. The thread goes through the disc, like my fancy discs here. The discs are set to, to put enough tension on the thread that it won't break the thread, but yet it puts a little tension on so it doesn't get too loopy on us. We're going to sew up and down with a factory preset, and this is a 50 weight thread. We're going to do a little uh, piecing first, so sew up and down. Perfect tension. <laughs> it's not stressed too much, it's not breaking the thread, it's not looping on the back, right? Thank you. Does your machine know what thread we put on it? No. Does it know if it's poly, no. cotton, metallic, no. rayon, silk, heavy, no. fine? It doesn't have a clue, but it's automatic, right? Now we're going to put a heavier thread on. Let's put a medium weight, maybe a 40 weight thread on. The same automatic tension settings. Here we go. The f okay, go. Now so. <laughs> What's going to happen to my thread? It's going to shred. You broke my tension disc. <laughs> it's going to break. Thank you. It will break the thread in the tension area because the tension is too tight. Your machine doesn't know. Every machine is factory preset on a scale of 0 to 10 at about a 5. It is set to sew. Your machine isn't a quilting machine. It's a sewing machine. Sewing machines are built around the world for the world. America sews, I'm sorry, the world sews America quilts. And your machine doesn't know you're quilting. It doesn't know you're embroidering all the time. All it knows is sewing. And it is a fact that a setting of a five on a tension disc is for a fine 50 or 60 weight strong, usually a polyester thread. I know this because one day I was bored. My wife just happened to bring home another machine. Do I have sympathy? Thank you. 
and I was reading the owner's manual. And right there on, the, on page 51 of this brand new Bernina, it said, this machine is factory preset to sew with a 68 polyester thread. And I knew that day, it's not a quilting edition, it's not the fancy embroidery edition, it's none of that. It's a sewing machine. It is made to sew. It is true if you have automatic tension settings, sometimes if you engage decorative stitches or engage the embroidery unit, the automatic tension may go from a 5, maybe down to a 4, maybe down to a 3.5. Not enough. If you put in a 40 weight or a heavier thread in a factory preset, it might work, it might not work. Learn to override the automatic tension is the most important thing I can teach you. It will do more for your sewing success than anything else. Because you may have the Rolls Royce of thread. You may have the right magic top stitch needle. But if the tension is still too tight, it will cause problems. If you have a very high quality thread and are getting a lot of lint, guess what? It's rubbing in the tension disc. The most common setting that we use for most medium threads is about the three range. Some models go down to a two, some models go up to a four, some are okay at a five. But we override the automatic tension, we run it in about a three, three and a half range for most threads on most machines. Remember the metallic thread we talked about first? And I said there's never a machine in good working condition that we can't get this to run on? Guess what needle we put on? A top stitch 90, because it's the same as a metallic 90, right? And the first thing we do, any brand of machine, we take that tension disc and we go from a 5 all the way to a 1. That is extreme. We open up that tension disc so wide, there's no way it's going to pinch my metallic thread. Because if you pinch a metallic thread, it flattens it out and it will break it. We run metallic at a 1. Some machines like it at a 2. Perfectly fine. Don't go from a 5, break, rethread to a 4.5. Break, rethread, go down to a 4.0. Break, now I'm getting mad. Rethread it, go down to a 3.5. You're just wasting time and causing a lot of frustrations. Drop it down to about a three range, right off the bat. I guarantee threads that you have not been able to run up till now, you put on the right needle, you loosen your tension, open up that tension disc, you will be surprised. If you do embroidery and have automatic embroidery and you're having a lot of breakage, you can open up the tension disc, loosen it down a bit, use the right needle, walk away from it. You'll be amazed what you can do. Good quality thread, the right needle, the right tension will do a lot for your sewing success. That's 90%.